Finland and Sweden should prepare for war. Finnish president. Finnish president Alexander Stubb called on his country and neighboring Sweden to prepare for war. In his opinion, these countries can play an important role in strengthening peace in the region. In an interview with the Finnish press, Stubb noted that the military rhetoric of Western countries is becoming more and more aggressive, but Finland and Sweden can help soften the warlike rhetoric. However, at the same time, according to the Finnish president, the best way to avoid war is not to talk about it, but to prepare for a possible armed conflict. Stubb also added that this state of affairs could deprive the younger generation of a sense of security and faith in the future. Finland, the 31st member of NATO, shares a 1,340-kilometer border with Russia, which extends through dense forests in the south and harsh Arctic terrain in the north. Stubb, during a visit to Sweden, discussed the implications of Finland's NATO membership at a joint news conference in Stockholm with Swedish Prime Minister Ulf Kristersson. Both nations had long embraced neutrality, avoiding military alliances, but shifted their policies after Russia invaded Ukraine in early 2022. The best way to avoid war is to talk less and prepare more. Stubb said during the conference. He also noted that although the focus on military readiness is critical, the increasing prevalence of war-related news on screens can affect younger generations' sense of security. It is also reported that the official representative of the Russian Foreign Ministry, Maria Zakharova, emphasized that the NATO exercises planned for the near future in Finland, in close proximity to the Russian border, are openly provocative in nature. Zakharova pointed out that to justify their aggressive aspirations, representatives of the alliance are purposefully whipping up hysteria around the supposedly existing Russian threat, including continuously spreading insinuations about some Russian plans to attack NATO member countries. By conducting maneuvers close to the border with Russia, NATO increases the risk of possible military incidents. However, at the same time, Moscow closely monitors all aggressive actions of the collective West. Germany disrupts delivery of 400 MRAP armored vehicles to Ukraine. The German government has promised to provide up to 400 units of mine-resistant ambush-protected heavy-wheeled armored vehicles with enhanced mine protection to the Ukrainian military, Build reports. The contract for the supply of armored vehicles was signed by the Ukrainian authorities and the German defense company Flensburger Fazugbau GmbH with funding from the German budget totaling 315 million euros. The German Ministry of Defense says that all the armored vehicles are to be delivered this year. At the same time, the agency obtained a document from the German Ministry of Defense dated September last year, which states that M wraps for the armored forces of Ukraine should be delivered in batches of 20 from January to October 2024. However, deliveries have not yet begun. According to the German agency, the plan for 2024 was reduced first to 200 and then to 100 armored vehicles and the start of deliveries was postponed from January to May to June. The reason is that Flensburger Fazugbau GmbH receives spare parts for MRAPs from the United States and only assembles them in Germany. The company faced export license restrictions from the United States to Germany and problems with mine protection certification. Since the first days of the Russian invasion, Germany has proved to be one of Ukraine's most reliable allies, providing it with comprehensive military, political and financial support. Berlin has sent Kiev an impressive arsenal of weapons, including various types of artillery pieces, leopard tanks of both old and new modifications, Iris-T and Patriot air defense systems, ammunition, vehicles, drones and much more. Germany has recently added a new military aid package to this list, once again demonstrating its firm stance in supporting Ukraine in its fight against Russian aggression. There are rumors that the actual amount of military aid from Germany may be lower than officially declared. The German government stated that Ukraine had received 28 billion euros of military aid. However, the data shows a significantly lower amount according to BUILD. A part of the 6 billion euros, around 2.6 billion euros promised as military aid to Kyiv will go to other countries and for the rearmament of the Bundeswehr. The amount of 3.4 billion euros may be reimbursed to Germany from EU funds. Taking this data into account, it turns out that the actual promised military aid to the Ukrainian armed forces is only 21.7 billion euros.